Hi, this is Mr. Evil Cheese, and I'm here to review the Marvel Select Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man. And I I seen this on other people's reviews, just like the thumbnail on YouTube. I'm like, there's a Spider-Man that comes with a fireman's hat? What the hell is that? So somehow I didn't even know this was coming out. I just happened to see it at the store today, and I'm like, hey, so that's where that fireman hat's coming from. I thought that was just some kind of really crappy, you know, that they make all these different versions of Spider-Man's, like, here's one where he's got the fireman hat. I didn't realize that it was actually, like, a separate thing, just an accessory to a really awesome looking Spider-Man figure, because this one might be my new favorite, because my new favorite was the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man. This one's looking like it might be even better. So, Gonna open it up and see. And uh, first, a look at the package real quick. Just some art from the movie and stuff. Nothing too amazing. More art. Okay. Time to open it up. Well, after I'm opening up, I'm not quite sure if I like it better than the Spider-Man 2 Marvel Legends version, but it's pretty damn close because this one is really, really good. Like the sculpt. I think the sculpt's a little better on this one. The only thing it might be lacking a little bit is the articulation. Articulation is really good. Don't get me wrong. It's really awesome on this figure. But the Marvel Legends one might just have a little more articulation. But this figure just looks really nice. Really looks like Spider-Man. Makes him look muscular, but also not too muscular. And he's posable. Like in, he's like all athletic and agile looking, even though he's muscular. That's a tough thing to accomplish in that figure, I think. For Spider-Man, at least. It's like when they make him super poseable, super flexible looking, he always ends up looking super skinny and not showing off his muscles. I also really like how they painted on his webbing. Like, lots of times the webbing's kind of half-assed, just, just doesn't look so good, but his is like damn near perfect. Like, it's painted on, it's like it's sculpted on there, but they painted on like perfectly. A lot of times when they do that, they miss the lines just a little bit and it's sloppy looking. This one looks like perfect. Perfect, man. The spider symbol on him looks really good, too. It doesn't blend into the spider web too much, because some of the other ones do that. Um, oh, that's that's one thing that's kind of annoying, the legs. I'm assuming that probably happens on the other Spider-Man. I'll have to get him in a second. But the legs don't match up when you turn them, but how would they? There's not much you can do about that. So there's the Marvel Legends version, and it's really a tough pick who I like better. I mean... Like I was saying, the lines aren't painted in too well on him, like the spiderweb lines. But the articulation is better on this one. He can just do more. Like his shoulders have more joints. He has double jointed elbows. This one only has single joints. They both have double jointed knees, though. And also, this one can like swivel. Like I don't know, his ankles just move more. Like they swivel. They can go back and forth like that. On this one. Well, they can do well. Yeah, they can do that too. Just the range is a little less. I think it's pretty. Well, I don't know. This one looks really good too. Oh, I don't know. Oh no, this one's got a little more range. Yeah, this one. Yeah. See, this one's got a little more range in the motion, and I think that's the same for most of the joints on this one, especially at the torso. There, he can't do a whole lot at the torso. It's been good. Just can't lean forward. This one also has the extra thing there where you can spin. So, articulation, like on the head too, yeah, the head can look around a lot better on this one. That one can't. It's close, but it's not the same. So, I think this one looks better. It's just, this one has a little better articulation. I like the colors better on this one too. I like the color of red, the shade of red, and the shade of blue. This one just seems too dark to me on the blue. And uh, I say both of them, the red is not perfect. That might be hard to tell on camera, but this red is, seems a little too light. And this one's like, this one looks washed out or something. I don't know. It's just not the perfect color red for me, but I'm really picky. So I don't really know which one I could pick for my favorite one here. That would be very difficult. However, something that could be a deciding factor is he only comes with 
two fists or two um, like shoot this webs hands whatever you call those that position <laughs> web shooting hands but this one comes with these are just plain old fists for punching that's all they would do and these are fists but they have the thumb out so that might be used to like maybe put on a web if you got that little that little hook there I'm guessing maybe that goes on his thumb somehow yeah I don't know something like that <laughs> I'm drunk it's hard but I guess that's what they do then you got these hands and they can have the web placed in there or you could take them out and there's these hands are just basically posing hands just to be like what am I? Or I guess they could be climbing hands too put a hand on the wall like he's climbing and these hands can hold things like this one can hold the fire hose fire hose gun or what do you call that I don't know and and this one can hold the web so he's got lots of variety in his hands like I said this one didn't have as much so that's really cool and he also comes with the fireman's hat which I haven't seen Spider-Man 2 but I did see the preview and I seen that he had a fireman's hat on him and I guess he's helping put out a fire or something so you can pop on the hand with the fire hose except he doesn't actually have a hose he just, I, mean, I wonder if, does he do that in the movie? he just pretends to have a hose? I don't know I'm assuming he actually had a real hose that he's putting out a fire with and not just posing so that's cool, I like this little helmet, it's, that's a nice nicely detailed helmet so uh, I think all those accessories might just push him over the edge a little bit and I think I like this one just a little more than this one I mean really I like this one's look more I mean most of the time I just have my figures posed somewhere and he's gonna look better posed than this one you can get some crazier poses out of this one but he, this one just looks better doing whatever he's doing now since this is a Marvel Select figure he's a different scale than the Legends and uh, here's another Marvel Select Wolverine this is my favorite Wolverine figure that I have and I love this Wolverine figure I love the articulation the sculpt paint I love everything about this figure pretty much all of his different hands he comes with so this Spider-Man with all of his different hands and just the awesome sculpt and paint job on this one I think these two really go together with just how awesome versions of the characters they are portraying um, I didn't think I said that very well see man I like to do reviews when I'm drunk because it makes me talk easier but it also makes me say things like really stupidly <laughs> I'm sorry but <laughs> I don't know I just think they look cool, really cool together like that chop a chop 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 a chop a chop a chop chop a chop you can't chop me I would totally sense that and dodged it asshole I've actually argued with people about who would win out of Wolverine Spider-Man and I always say Spider-Man like if they fought a hundred times I, I say Spider-Man would win most of them but everybody else is like Wolverine would win and I'm saying you're just picking that because you think he's cooler and I don't know I think Spider-Man will win I think he's too like Wolverine's fast like he's like I think they say he's as fast, kind of like Captain America, he's as fast as the fastest person human could be. Like he is a mutant, but he's not super duper fast. Spider-Man has superhuman speed, like he's really fast. Also he has a spider sense, so he knows something's coming. So I think if Wolverine swung at him nine times out of ten, he'd dodge it. And then he'd web him up from a distance. And Wolverine could slice through the webs, but at some point his arms are going to be stuck and he can't slice because his arms are stuck I just think he would win now if it's a fight to the death that's a little different because for one thing Spider-Man is not going to kill him and Wolverine's really hard to kill so that's if you're talking about fight to the death that's different but now I'm probably going to start an argument about who's, who would win between Wolverine and Spider-Man but that's okay because it's very debatable just in my opinion Spider-Man would usually win I think so so imagine because he comes with this webbing and his hands that could hold the webbing he could probably hang us from the ceiling and get him some crazy poses like I'm just kinda making a real generic one right now you could probably make one that looks more like something he'd do in the comic but uh, that's just really cool that's that's a really nice touch to this figure another reason 
to like this select version more than the Marvel Legends version. So yeah, I guess making this video I have decided this figure is my favorite Spider-Man figure ever. I do like it more than the Marvel Legends Infinite Series one that just came out not that long ago. I mean, look at all those hands. It comes with 10 different hands, man. It comes with the fireman's hat, which is just kind of silly, but still. And the fireman's hose, handle, gun thing. What do you call those? Nozzles? I don't know. And then the web shooter hands come with webs. And then he's got the long webs to swing from and hang from, like he is back there right now. That is really cool. And I really like the paint. I really like the way they paint it on the black webbing perfectly. And I think the spider on his chest looks perfect. The one on the back gets a little messed up when you turn them, but oh well. And the articulation is really, really good. It's not as good as the Legends, but it is still really awesome. So, I love this figure. I think it's well worth getting if you're a Spider-Man fan. It's definitely one of the best, if not the best. I mean, that's not counting like the super expensive Spider-Mans, like the Hot Toys or something, but you know what I mean. Damn it. This figure's just freaking awesome. So, this is Mr. Jeffrey Chase, and that's my review of the walk I almost said the walking dead. Oh man. This is my this is my review of the Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man Marvel Select action figure. Whew. Thanks for watching, goodbye. No. I'm gonna lick you while you're upside down. Lick you while you're upside down. How'd you like licking? How'd you like licking? How'd you like licking? I'll give you while you're upside down. Yeah, you can people while you're upside down is what I do. It's what I do. It's what I do. Wait, I should say it's what we do. It's what we do. It's what we do. Licking you while you're upside down is what we do. Do, 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 do. Maybe during mid swing, I'll do do. Okay, well, goodbye. You want some of this? How about it? I know you're looking. You want some of that ass? You want some of that? Oh, damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe, Nate. Oh!